The guests he's invited to the pub are going to taste the dishes and help him decide which starter should be served at his Great British Feast. The purpose of today is to choose the starter yeah. for Marco's Great British Feast. So we'll be tasting a little bit of the starters and then you'll be given a feedback card. It's good to take on board other people's opinions, as long as they're presented in the correct way. It'll be uh, venison tartare, which is raw venison. Um, so I hope you're going to be trying that for us. It's raw venison, it's not cooked. <laughs> not cooked, All I expect of the guests is to come with the right attitude of mind. Sour herrings, I'm going to pass on those. I'd rather stick pins in my eyes. Because if they're not going to be proud of Britain, then they should not turn up. Marco, first table sitting. Really? Start slicing the ham. Yeah. Can you get the venison, please? With the diners seated, all that's left is for Marco to serve his three quite unlikely choices. Where's Nick? Where's the waiters? Service, come on, don't stand that out of the way. Thank you. Well, this is the first dish. It's the soused herrings. First up, it's the unfashionable soused herrings served with a beetroot salad. It's very pretty. It's very nice. It's very nice. Not being a fish eating person, oh. it's pretty damn good. The fish is a bit too, too hard for me. Uh, too, uh, too vinegary. Next, Marco's serving Charlie Burrell's home cured ham with a celeriac salad. I love the herrings, but I absolutely love the ham. The ham's my favourite. I'm slightly disappointed with the ham. The flavour from the ham was very delicate and it was just overpowered by the celeriac. But the big test is yet to come. How's the tartar, Matt? Nice and pink, Matt, that meat. He's serving his most controversial choice last, the raw venison tartar. I think more people should sort of have the courage to say, actually, I'm going to take a, a risk, I'm going to roll the dice. Now, this is the venison tartar. Oh. Beautiful. Done for you. This is the uh, venison tartar. When you serve venison tartar, it's always a tricky one because it's not to least taste. There'd be plenty of wine to swallow it down, <laughs> I would say, afterwards. So we'd have to wait and see. A lot of people are not brought up eating game, and that's why they turn their nose at it. And even if it's not to their liking, they should have the courage to have a go. Do you like that? I do like that. That's actually really, really, really nice. The first time I've had venison tartar, um, that is very, very good. Very tasty. It tasted nice. It tasted nice. If I didn't know what it was, I'd probably have eaten more of it. Venison is divine. Absolutely divine. It's not something that I'm, I'm used to, so I guess it's a bit ambitious for me. His guests have decided what they like best, but will Marco agree? Can I take your feedback cards, please? Thank They've been asked to list their favourite in order of preference. Thank you. I don't know how to spell delicious. Delicious. So, boss, what do you think? This one today. If you want my honest opinion, I would have said the herrings. OK, why? I don't think Charlie's ham would have done as well as it should have done. Mm. I'd say herrings, a tartar, followed by the ham. For me, I like, I like the venison. For a lot of people, they won't. The venison was not something that I would naturally go for, but having eaten it, I did like it. I've never had uh, venison tartar before, uh, and it's a, an acquired taste <laughs> and textured. The ham had a similar taste to parma ham, which I would eat at home, 
The celeriac salad made the dish more interesting. The ham and the celeriac was a bit boring. I liked all three dishes. I thought the, um, the herring especially was lovely. The flavour was really amazing. So which one do you think it is, boss? I'd say they've gone, by the sounds of those comments, I'd say tartare of venison. Least favourite? Charlie's ham. Obvious. Which was the diner's favourite? Soused herrings or venison tartare? Venison tartare or herrings. I've got to go for the herrings. Interesting. Well, 21 out of 30, so it was a venison tartare. Venison tartare is good, and we can serve it to 200 people. The question, obviously, if everyone likes venison, there's going to be the problem, isn't it? The diners have chosen their favourite dish, but whether Marco agrees to serve venison to over 200 people remains to be seen. I mean, he might be quite nervous. I mean, I would be if, you, if you're going to be serving um, raw venison to 200 people. I mean, here it's OK because it's a small unit, but if you put on 200 people, it, it's, a, it's a different story. So far, the diners have chosen fish pie as the main course. And now venison tartare as a starter. But will Marco decide to serve raw deer at the feast? Next week... Cheers. Lovely to be here with you. Marco turns his menu from a meal into a feast. I mean, that is exquisite, isn't it? And goes hunting for an appetizer. Like ladies' legs. I can't wait to watch you strip them. <laughs> I've travelled 300 miles to see this, Mr Baxter. Mr Ishii, have you ever had school before? Things get heated in the kitchen. Frozen fucking smoked eel. As Marco's under pressure to complete his menu. I'm staying out of it at the moment. Do not push me. I don't think you understand what I am. We have 20 pairs of tickets available if you'd like to attend Marco's feast. For a chance to come along, just go to itv.com forward slash Marco and fill in the application form. You'll need to be 18 or over and be available to travel to Hampshire on July the 15th. The closing date for applications is 10 a.m. on July the 14th and full terms and conditions are on the site. It's delicious. Here on ITV1, tomorrow night we have a one-off documentary following the cases of three of the 13 million people admitted to NHS hospitals for treatment every year. And it's being shown to mark the institution's 60th anniversary. Life and death on the NHS, tomorrow evening here at 9. And coming up after the news next, more drama with Six Degrees.